Okay, um, so it's here again with another random video. Um, just showing you guys the little tiger trout that I got for my project. Out of all these guys, so far only four of them have come up to the top now, after the first week of taking care of them. They come up to the top and they take a uh, quick gulp of air to fill their swim bladder, which will help them to just swim in the middle of the water instead of sw be swimming in like the uh, on the bottom, like those guys are. Now what I have them in is this little mesh thing in a nice big 15 gallon tank. Um, now the tank has to stay at around 50 to 60 degrees in between there. 60 is even a little bit too high. Um, because trout need very, very cold water to live. I originally got 12 of them, and only 10 of them are alive now. I think one more is going to kick the bucket. He's someplace in here in the bottom. He's not doing so well, but... Uh, sometimes you just get sick ones. Anyway, so... They're doing well. I had to turn off that music before because it was somewhat loud. Um, so yeah. They're all doing well so far. I'm really proud of them. I mean, I don't know why I feel like that, but I don't know. It could be compared to um, watching a kid, your own kid, if you had one, um, standing and walking for the first time. Seeing them come up to the top and take a bubble, like this fish that's coming up to the top actually hasn't taken any oxygen yet, so he's another one. There's going to be five if he comes up and gets that air bubble. Come on, little guy. You can do it. Oh, come on. You're almost there. There you go. Get the water. Here. Anyway, so... I just feel really proud of them since I've been taking care of them for so long, since they had really huge yolk sacks, anyway. That was really funny. I should have showed you guys them when they were yolk sacked. <laughs> anyway, so I feel happy. For my little babies. Anyway, I hope I only plan on keeping maybe two of them. If the rest of them all survive, they're probably gonna go to some of my good friends who have fish tanks and they can keep one. Because I know when they get to adulthood they're gonna be like a foot long, so they need big tanks. Other than that, thanks for everything. See you later. Peace out. This is Tara. Bye.